A group of strangers helped make medical history at a San Francisco hospital. They formed a so-called transplant chain at a California Pacific Medical Center, is a place it's called. Twelve patients in a six-way kidney swap. That's the largest ever on the West Coast. And first, on CBS This Morning, Carter Evans shows us how they met for the very first time to celebrate the ultimate example of paying it forward. Strangers just days ago, this group now is more like family, as six transplant recipients met the people who saved their lives. You're my Barry Bonds. I'm not worthy. <laughs> the transplant chain was started by Zuli Brassard. Her kidney saved the father of this five-year-old. Zuli, that man standing behind you right now has a piece of you. I know. <laughs> His daughter is going to get to see him. Broussard lost a son and her husband to cancer. It was that feeling of loss that compelled her to give. But the difference between you and everyone else in this chain is that you didn't have a loved one who was getting a kidney. But they did. I just want them to have that quality of life. I want their loved ones to know that they're going to be around. Zuli's gift set off a medical chain reaction. Her kidney went to a 26-year-old factory worker. His sister-in-law donated to a 52-year-old dental assistant, and so on. The result was 12 surgeries and six new kidneys. <laughs> Before meeting, the only thing the donors had in common was that they all wanted desperately to save a loved one, but couldn't. Thank you very much. As years go on, it just puts a toll on the whole family. As Norma Rodriguez struggled with kidney disease, her 28-year-old son, Keith, hoped he could save her life. What did it feel like when you found out you weren't a match? All the bad thoughts come to mind. You think, you know, there's nothing I can do from here. But there was another option, a kidney swap between donors who weren't a match for their loved ones, but were compatible with someone else's. You know what? It's somebody turned the lights back on. You know, for two years, I was in the dark. Mark Kim got his new kidney from former Marine Liz Torres. I wouldn't do anything for my mom. The only thing ailing this tough Marine was her sick mother, Miriam. She also got a kidney in the swap, but was reluctant to see her daughter undergo invasive surgery. You didn't want her to take that risk? No, but she, she called me and she said, I'm willing to do that for, for your life, mom. How do you say thank you for that? How do you thank her? You know, you don't, um, it, it, I've been telling people, you know, I, I've received a gift I can never repay, right? And I'm grateful. According to the National Kidney Foundation, more than 100,000 people in the U.S. are waiting for new kidneys. Twelve people die every day hoping for a transplant. The complexity of the organization for the six-way swap was, was immense. The kidney swap was fast-tracked, coordinated in three weeks, with urgency to get it done before anyone or anything broke the chain. What really worries us is the unexpected. If one of the 12 patients uh, developed a uh, cold, you know, the night before, then that could have thrown the whole thing off. Something that little? Yeah. Finding a donor match is complex, which is why David Jacobs designed this computer program. This is what a doctor might see. If His inspiration came when he received a kidney transplant years ago at the very same hospital. Instead of dying, I lived and was able to build this software and to help other people. We all have something to give, and we make a choice as to what them, that may be, but everything matters. The choice Zuli Brassard made saved Oswaldo Padilla's life. Do you feel a connection to her? She's part of my family now. Padilla will now get to see his daughter grow up thanks to the kindness of strangers. Thank you, Ms. Brassard. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. We all have similar stories. I mean, we're human beings going through life, going through this journey that has offered us different avenues, and we just take that one that we think is going to be the one that you can make a difference. For CBS This Morning, Carter Evans, San Francisco. <laughs> wow, amazing is such an overused word, but it certainly applies in that case. Can you imagine how yeah. you could you can save somebody life. else's life? Mm -hmm. Thank you, That's isn't it? That's a enough. wonderful story, wonderful story. And you're going to hear more about this tonight on the CBS Evening News.